this is Andrew from craftybeetroot.com. Today we're going to be looking at my modification of my Nerf gun. Recently I was invited to my first Nerf battle and I needed a Nerf gun. And accordingly, I couldn't just do with the stock colours, so I went about modifying it. Uh, recently, in the Maker community, Adam Savage released a video showing his modification of a Nerf gun. And in that series he shows the changing of the internals and modification as well as a killer paint job. So I'm going to be using a lot of his techniques. This is a small project. Did this uh, overnight on a Friday night um, for a Nerf battle I've got coming up this weekend. As I have no knowledge about Nerf guns or Nerf battles or anything like that, this is purely an aesthetic project. Um, so what did I start with? Well, I started with a basic Nerf AccuStrike, I believe is what it's called. First thing I did was figure out a plan. So whenever you're doing a modification, it's best to have some kind of idea about what you're going to do. Because of my affiliation with Stormtroopers and Star Wars, I decided to go for a black and white kind of retro look. I didn't want to go for too black and make it too realistic. I didn't want to go too white. Um, it up a lot of the markings and branding, which I wanted to avoid if I could. So the first thing I did was I went through and I removed some of those um, extra wording that wasn't required. Um, I sanded those off and I went through the whole device or the whole gun and I brushed it up with some steel wool just to kind of give it something to bite to. Uh, that was the first step in the process. The next thing I did is I decided what I was actually going to do. I, there was one modification that I wanted to make and that was adding the barrel. Uh, so I took some PVC pipe, cut it down, sanded it up, um, got it to fit with inside the actual housing of the rifle itself um, so that it would just make it look a, look a little bit more better. So after I had done that initial roughing up of the surface, I went through and I did my first priming coat with the white. I wanted to start with the white because I knew I'd be doing a lot of masking uh, and it was always going to be easier to cover black over white rather than white over black. So after I painted the initial white, I went through and then I started masking everything off. Now it's important when masking you be as accurate as possible, but again this being a quick job, this being, um, I was going to rough it up and I knew I was going to weather it pretty heavily, I wasn't too concerned, but it still took me about an hour to mask it off and then start painting the black. So after painting all the black, uh, we had the base rifle where we kind of wanted it. Um, we then attached the barrel, put the barrel into the housing. Now this isn't glued in, I could pull this out, but it's, with the paint it's quite a tight fit, so I'm not worried about that going anywhere. So the next step is I want to add a little bit of a pattern, I want to add a little bit of checkering. So I found some, it was actually an embroidery grid, um, which we had lying around the house, laid that over, painted it black. Now at this point I used up all my white paint, all my black paint in three different camps. So I was pretty much out of black paint, um, so I knew whatever I could get out at the end was pretty much it. So then I had the basic rifle, and if you were going to do an as-issued version or a clean version, that's where you would have to clean it up and leave it there. But as I was doing the weathered version, uh, my next step was then to do some dry brushing. So using some silver paint, I believe it's technically platinum, um, I went through, dry brushed the edges, anywhere that would basically get dinged. Um, during my time in the Army Reserves in Australia, I got to know what a pretty beat up service rifle would look like. So that was kind of my goal, was go a little bit more extreme, just to um, enhance the effect. So after I'd done that, um, after I'd done that, I decided to, I want to do a clear coat. So I clear coated the whole thing, just to kind of hopefully lock in that, lock in those colors, lock in the paint job. Um, and then it was on to the weathering. So the final part of the weathering is you go in with some oil paint. So I went in with a black, uh, dark sienna I believe. And then you put it on and then you wipe it off as good as you can get. Um, so here it is. It's all ready to go. I did some test firing, but with some abuse the colours will come through. But I did my best to do heavy uh, paint jobs on them and let them dry. And then I can always add a bit more weathering if I need to clean it up a little bit. So with that, hopefully we will have a rifle that we can 
not do too badly in a battle. Thank you. For well, more information on those other videos that I used to for the inspiration for this, see below. Um, as well as if you're interested in any of our other builds, go to craftybeachroot.com. Thank you.